Hi, welcome to AETCM. I am Bisna Abdul Kader, Emergency Medical Technician. Today, we are going to discuss about basic airway adjuvants or simple airway adjuvants. They generally consist of two groups of devices, oral airways, oropharyngeal airways, nasal airways which is also known as nasal trumpets. Basic airway adjuvants are extremely useful in increasing the success rate of basic airway manners. It creates and maintains the airway patency. It allows spontaneous respiration as well as facilitate bag and mask ventilation. It basically works by stenting open the obstruction in the upper airway which usually occurs in reduced level of consciousness, unconsciousness and general anesthesia when the back of the tongue falls backward against the posterior pharyngeal wall in the supine patient. Now we are going to discuss about oropharyngeal airway in detail. Oropharyngeal airway is a curved hard plastic device that fits over the back of the tongue with the tip in the posterior pharyngeal wall. It is designed to hold the tongue away from the posterior pharyngeal wall. Its size starts from 14 mm to 100 mm. There are sizes for neonites to adult. It makes it easier to ventilate with bag and mask device. It can also consider as a bite blocker. In a ventilated patient, oropharyngeal airway can prevent the patient from biting down the tube. Now we are going to discuss the indication, contraindication, complications of oropharyngeal airway. The indication is it can use for patient who is unresponsive and without gag reflex. It is contraindicated for the patient who is responsive and with gag reflex because gag reflex can induce vomiting which cause aspiration as well as compromise the airway. The advantages of oropharyngeal airway is it is non-invasive, easily placed and it can prevent the blockage of glottis by the tongue. The main complication is unexpected gag reflex because as I said uh, before it can induce vomiting and cause aspiration and the main disadvantage is oropharyngeal airway cannot prevent aspiration. Now, let's see how to insert an oral airway. First, measure the oral airway to find appropriate size. Measure the distance from the patient's earlobe to the corner of the mouth. Open the patient's mouth with cross finger technique or tongue jaw lift. Hold the airway upside down with your other hand. Insert the airway with the tip facing the roof of the mouth and slide it until it touches the roof of the mouth. Rotate the airway 180 degree after it passes through the soft palate. Insert the airway until the flate rests on the patient's lips and teeth. In this position, the airway will hold the tongue forward. Now, let's see the insertion of an oral airway with 90 degree rotation. Depress the tongue with the tongue blade so that the tongue remains forward. Insert the oral airway sideways from the corner of the mouth until the flate reaches the lips. Rotate the oral airway 90 degree and remove the tongue blade as you exert gentle backward pressure on the oral airway until the flate rests surely in the place against the lips. Now let's discuss about nasopharyngeal airway. It is a soft rubber tube that can be inserted through nose into the posterior pharynx behind the tongue. It allows the air passage from nose to lower airways. Its size starts from 12 French to 32 French. Now let's see the indications and contraindications of nasopharyngeal airway. The indications are it can be used for patients who are unresponsive, responsive, who has altered mental status and with gag reflex also. It cannot be used for the patient who is having basal skull fracture, 
uh, who is having facial fractures and patient intolerance. Now let's see the advantage of nasopharyngeal airway. The main advantage is you can suction through it. There is no need to open the mouth of the patient. The main disadvantage is the improper technique can cause severe nasal bleed and it doesn't prevent from aspiration. Now let's see insertion of nasal airway. Determine the size of airway by measuring the distance from the tip of nozzles to the patient's earlobe. Coat the tip with a water soluble lubricant. Insert the lubricated airway into the larger nozzles with a curvature following the flow, bowel facing the septum. Gently advance the airway. If you are using the left nozzles, insert the nasal airway until it meets with resistance. Then rotate the airway 180 degree into the position. In this rotation is not required if you are using the right nozzle. Continue until the flage rests against the nozzle. If you feel any resistance or obstruction, remove the airway and insert into the another nozzle. It's all about basic airway adjuncts. I hope you got something from this class. Thank you.